Okay, so as you can see, we're not in our studio. Um, unfortunately, we had to deliver some really hard news last week and uh, due to schedules and horrible rainstorms every day, Coach Victoria wasn't able to be there in the last video. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't heard the news yet, this is going to be difficult for you. Coach Margaret did pass away recently. And as we, or as, I, as I said in the other video, it was a complete shock to everybody. Um, it, it happened right before she was supposed to go on her vacation. Completely unexpected, very fast. And for those of you that haven't heard this, I'm so sorry to have to tell you um, it's been incredibly difficult for us and um, I know many of you will want to know what happened basically she wasn't feeling well before her trip she laid down for a nap and when she went to wake up she was still feeling nauseous or started feeling nauseous felt exhausted and went back to sleep, took another nap. The next day she wasn't feeling well, so they brought her to the hospital. She wasn't doing well. They couldn't get her blood pressure under control. And so they decided to transfer her, right? Mm -hmm. To another hospital. And um, she didn't wind up making it even 24 hours after that point. Am I forgetting anything here? No, and the following day we were gonna go visit her in the hospital since her partner had let us know and we didn't even get to see her at yeah. the end, um, yeah. which was really unfortunate for us and a really big shock. Um, I guess you Completely never shocked. really expect things to be as bad as they are until things like this happen and so Margaret meant so much to both of us. She's been an incredible mentor, an incredible human being as a person. Her patience was something incomprehensible. Yeah. Um, and I learned so much from her. So her passing it has been really difficult for us, just knowing that we won't be able to learn more from her in the future. We won't be able to talk with her, with share life with her. Yeah. She's been incredible, truly. Words, we can't even put it into words how much she's changed our life or been there for me. And, you know, with my own breakups, she was there. And that's how we started kind of piecing breakups together after I started going to her after my uh, breakup with the Applebee's girl, which I have talked to you about many times. Um, I thought it would be good for you guys to have Coach Victoria and I here together to talk to you guys a little bit because... You know, it's going to have a big impact on so many people. I mean, mm -hmm. we had over 40 million views and she's been in over 500 videos mm -hmm. um, before she passed. And, you know, she was like family to us. Mm -hmm. I mean, no matter what was going on in your life, you could count on her to be there. I lost my dad and one of my best friends within a couple of weeks of each other, uh, not that long ago. and. Margaret was there to talk to and just be supportive during such a difficult time. And we don't want you guys to feel like, you know, we put out a video and it's not going to be either talked about or addressed mm -hmm. or, you know, that it just, you know, she's just gone because she's not. And the way I look at it is that she lives on through all of us. Right. And, and each one of you that she's had an impact on, you know, so she's not gone in the sense that everything that we've learned and uh, have shared with you guys over the years is still there, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And I've been alongside her during calls where I've heard you guys, you know, say to her how much she means to you. So I'm really glad that she's been able to to hear that and know that and see that be a part of it just thinking about all the stories that she has inside of her and all of you know the trauma that she's dealt with through others 
And she's given a lot of herself in this work. You guys don't understand how much research she put into those videos. Mm -hmm. She would spend hours every week researching topics. Mm -hmm. Topics that, um, you know, not that they didn't often get a lot of views. Like if we were dealing with a trauma or abuse history or something like that, and people are like, well, this doesn't really relate to me. But she did it anyway because the people that did watch it, mm -hmm. it made a big difference. Exactly. You know, um, she wasn't just putting out content that she thought, oh, you know, this is for everybody. Mm -hmm. It was for, you know, it meant a lot to her, the work that she did. Mm -hmm. I mean, and quite frankly, she did a lot of research that I just didn't have time to do based on other responsibilities that I have with the channel mm -hmm. and within my own life. And, but she had that time to really spend reading books constantly, mm -hmm. articles, books, and talk to us every week about, you know, new information, always learning, taking seminars, doing courses. Mm -hmm. It was unbelievable. Right. I mean, and this really went beyond just her professional, um, her professional self. She really took it personally and she really cared about all of you. There'd be times where just before filming, we'd be spending time together. She would be bringing up these cases mm -hmm. and her relationship with you all and what it means to her. And so I know this went beyond just a profession, beyond just the career. This was about her being able to touch people's lives. Yeah, it really was incredible. I mean, she could have retired a long time ago. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to. She loved doing it. And she, you know, loved all the aspects of what we did. And, you know, it came through mm -hmm. in everything that we saw her do, honestly. I would learn from her every single week, every single time we sat down. We would talk about something. Her knowledge went far beyond even mental health, mm -hmm. politics, and history. history. Her, her understanding of history. If you sat down and talked with this woman, you could bring up something obscure from 2,000 <laughs> years ago and she would talk about it like she was there. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, I remember one time I asked her and she's like, hmm, I don't know about that. And I'm like, I don't believe you. <laughs> and then sure enough, she's like, I thought about it. I do know. <laughs> and I'm like, I knew you did. And if there was any, any time that she didn't know something, she would really put in the work to understand it better. And I know she learned a lot from all of you too throughout the calls. She was genuinely so curious uh, because she wanted to help, you know, even about yeah. different cultures. You know, she, she learned a lot about the world in general through, through her, her work. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, this made her global, mm -hmm. which I was so happy we could do because you have to imagine all these years ago, I saw her as just this brilliant mentor and I'm just like, the, the world needs to know what mm -hmm. this woman knows because, you know, I see what is out there for mental health or supposed mental health, and a lot of it is bad information. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's just it's talked as if it's fact. And so I was so happy that we could take her from seeing maybe 25 people a week to, mm -hmm. you know... People around the world. Yeah, tw I don't even know, I mean, millions of people mm -hmm. millions of people and so i'm very happy that i was able to do that and we have like i said over 500 videos with her in it and i do have more content with her and i don't feel like it would be right to release that anytime soon but we will reflect on that and discuss what we'll do with those videos in the future mm -hmm. but you know we know this is going to be so difficult for so many of you and that so many of you saw her like a grandmother or yeah. family and I can tell you that she was probably the most genuine person I've ever known yeah right mm -hmm. So we've also created a GoFundMe that I want to talk about for her surviving family. So if you do feel it in your heart to donate, we know that the whole process of a loss is a lot financially and just practically. So we're trying out uh, the best that we can to help out her family members and just be there 
for them too. And if you would like to give some of your financial support just to help them out at this time, that would be really greatly appreciated. And it would be just a way of, you know, extending yeah. um, some of thanks. your support. Yeah, yeah. thanks to thanks. her for mm-hmm. everything that she's brought to our lives. Exactly. You know, um, so, you know, if you want to donate, great. If mm-hmm. you can't or don't want to, that's that's okay mm-hmm. too. Um, but I can tell you that it will be greatly appreciated to anybody that does. Yeah, and we also do read all of your comments. So thank you so much for all of the condolences, all of the supportive words. You know, this hasn't been easy for any of us. And so, you know, just being able to see that support and know that we are a big family, mm-hmm. it really does help. Um, we do have one little video that we're working on, Mm. um, with some clips, uh, maybe some funny moments with us behind the scenes of filming and Mm. maybe blundering or laughing at each other, which Uh you guys don't often see because a lot of times we're talking about a sensitive topic, but, um, you know, there are often times where we do silly things or mess up and we laugh about it and so i think we have some clips that we'll try and put together for you guys um just to share in some of those funny behind the scenes moments that we have yeah um again there's not a easy way to deal with this and we know how hard this will be for many of you um so if you guys have any suggestions uh, you can leave them in the comment. We felt like, you know, talking about this a couple times was mm-hmm. going to be important. But, yeah. um, you know, we will continue to put out regular videos with Victoria and myself. And then discuss or consider releasing more content of Margaret in the future, which mm-hmm. we have. Yeah. So, anything else you want to say? Just that, you know, I'm glad that we do have... A lot of those recorded memories with her and that you all have those too you know we can always go back and watch videos of her even if she's not with us in presence we can remember her we can remember a lot of her words of wisdom and advice as we live our lives and just share some of that kindness with others as she would have wanted you know i don't know if many of you guys know this i will say one last thing here before i brought margaret on the channel she had a major stroke and um, I think you were maybe not even in mm-hmm. town. I think maybe you were off in college at the time. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. Um, but I was told and it was believed that her memory was completely gone after the stroke. That they thought she wouldn't recover and that she probably wouldn't even remember anything. Um, and I was devastated. I was crushed because that was before I even had a chance to bring her on the channel. And incredibly enough, she had a full recovery. And her memory was not 100%, but it was probably like 95%, which is still probably 90% better than mine. (laughs) (laughs) Because I used to say to Margaret all the time, how do you remember this? And she would tell me, I remember every important thing that anybody's ever told me. Mm. And it was true. Mm. How many times were you talked to her and she'd remember something <laughs> yeah. you said and you're like, how did you remember I told you that? That's true. And even about clients. Yeah. You know, she would remember really specific details. Yeah. Second hand mm-hmm. of, a, of a client that we'd be working with, she would remember all the details of the <laughs> story. It was like unbelievable. So, you know, I'm just thankful that I had five years to put out all the videos that mm-hmm. we did um to share with you guys and um so i'm just glad i was able to do that so i don't know i don't really have anything else yeah just once again reiterating um if you can support her family her um, family has also been dealing with the loss of her adopted daughter which also happened unexpectedly this week this week it's yeah the amount of grief is overwhelming yeah and so just any comments towards that you know that you would like us to share even with her family would be greatly appreciated thank you guys for all the support um and you know if you guys want to talk about this in sessions with us of course we're going to understand Mm -hmm. Uh, but that's all we really wanted to say for now yeah